Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Eric's Fly Flytying TV. Today we have actually moved our studio outside and we put it on the shoreline here. So uh, we're going fishing tonight and we'll start by tying a few flies for the fishing. Today we're going fishing for Sea Run Browns. Uh, and we're going to fish with uh, some big foam, foam flies like this one. Lots of rubber legs, lots of foam, a super floater. So we're going to tie this one today. So follow along. As I just mentioned, this fly is going to be for the Sea Run Browns uh, here, this wonderful fjord in Denmark. Uh, I forgot my vines back home, so I thought, well, we'll give it a shot a little anyway. So I brought my tying equipment, but forgot the vise. So it's gonna be a without vise tying. Uh, I'm using the NS122, the light stinger. That's a perfect hook for this type of foam fishing, or foam flies. Uh, light and very, very strong. I'm using a quite heavy thread this time. And that's just because my, my vise is back home. I use this pre-cut foam back, like this. It comes in different colors and sizes and all that, but I, this one is perfect for these foam beetle patterns. Uh, I mount it at the front, side down, secure it nicely. Just checking it, perfect. And all the way back down to the bend of the hook. I'll take some dubbing. And this is some fluorescent purple black flashy stuff. I don't know how big a purpose this dubbing actually has, but uh, there's a little bit of glitter inside and it looks, it looks nice on the fly. Just a small bit. Like that. As I said, this is a pre-cut piece of foam, so I'll just turn it backwards. Side down. Like this. Take my thread, go a little bit further down to the end of the dubbing, and side down once more. You get the shape already here. But we're gonna pimp it a little bit. I'm gonna put some rubber legs on. Side. Quite simple. And that's a good thing about this foam. It actually it it f secures the rubber legs very good. It kind of like glides into the foam, so it's very easy to get them matching in the perfect shape. Just for security, I'm gonna make a small knot down here. And it's a quite thick GSP thread, so I'm gonna put a lot of tension on to secure it. I'm gonna add a new pair of rubber legs at the front part. Side. And the sea trout just love this type of flies. And it's super, super fun and super fascinating to fish these foam flies. When it's getting dark and you can see the fish is slowly cruising around and put this beetle on the surface and 
see the trout just inhale it and chase it. That's great fun. Um, <clears throat> it's mainly in the afternoon in the dark, in the dark period of the day. These flies is super good, but you can actually fish them in daytime as well. Um, so that's why I put, if you look at the, the underside, it's mainly black, this purple dubbing. But on the top, I've used the, an orange version on this one, but you can use them in both black and yellow and red and different kinds of colors. But I prefer the orange one, but I'll just put a little bit of antron yarn in a contrast color and a few strands of flesh. It's a bit difficult with only one hand free. But that's... And I'll just roll it around, double it. And tie it in on top of the fly. And let the thread go in between the rubber legs, like this. And that's just for, if you fish this at a sunny day, the yellow part can be difficult to see, but the orange part can be very visible. And opposite, if it's clouded, the orange color is more visible than the yellow. So you kind of like get, this is pretty good for an all round pattern. And then just take my wood finish. Like that. Tighten. And there you go. The fly is almost finished, but I need to trim this small piece up here and I'm gonna cut the rubber legs as well and one in the front will be the shortest ones As long as you're fishing these Chernobyl and patterns, uh, it doesn't have to be super realistic because, yeah, you can see the colors on this part. It's I haven't seen that many beetles with these colors, so I guess it's more the movement of the fly and the rubber legs that actually attracts the fly or attracts the trout to hit this one. So long rubber legs it actually makes a lot of movement in the water. That's that's what I'm aiming for. And I have a little bit of varnish I'll just put on the two tying parts with the rubber legs and the point at the foam body just to secure it an extra bit. And that's it. And there you have it. Foam fly, ready for the sea trouts. So let's put it on the leader. And let's find some fish out there.